Welcome to Rachel Scale Modelling. For my next build, I'll be building the Scania R620 Top Line New R Series from Italia Scale 124. Never built anything like this before, um, but I've got a little plan in mind. I'm going to do this, and I've also got a, a trailer to go with it um, from Heller, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, have a look inside the box. So, just go through this uh, instruction kits, uh, instructions even, or uh, looks like your standard. Now, let's talk about the decals first. Also, I've opened this and had a look. Um, th these are the decals that comes with um, two options for you to do. I'm mostly not going to be using these because I have made my own decals for it. Now, I'm going to be turning this into um, a logo for, for the truck, um, for the band Queen. Uh, I'm a huge Queen fan, so and uh, I was lucky enough to see them in concert a couple of years ago. And um, they, I was standing outside the the arena and uh, the big trucks were coming along with the big queen logos and everything on and so forth so i thought well it'd be cool to do a model like that um won't be exactly like um what i've seen outside the arena it's just my interpretation so it's all a, a what if if you like now I've, as I said, I've already made up the de decals i haven't printed them off um i'm thinking about coming up a way to show you how to do them um, you know so you can see how someone does their own decals whether you're into that sort of thing or not so inside the kit um, there's a, a few sprues uh, your, your normal suspect your clear plastic cab and so forth um, big chunky rubber wheels and the chrome wheels. I hate chrome parts. I don't know about anyone else, but I hate them. But I'll have to do it and let's have a look inside here. So there's quite a, a lot of parts to this kit. Even thought it was just for a cab. It's got an engine block in it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing the engine block because it will be just a static based model. Yep. Now it says on the instructions that there's a um, thing they've called punched chrome. Yep, so I found it. it took a couple seconds. And it doesn't really come up well on the camera, but it, it's like. Um, a mask but not and it looks like for the mirrors and lights maybe so that's quite a good idea so that is that kit for that and I'm also going to is there going to be doing a trailer I'll just get that part okay so I've switched over this is the the trailer part of the kit from Heller the ridge refrigerated trailer scale 124 um, now I will be modifying this slightly because um, here you can't see on the actual um, box here there, there's a refrigeration unit um, I'll be I'll be modifying taking that off because obviously it's not a refrigeration uh, trailer that I want but this was the only solid trailer that I was able to find for my budget so a, li a little little bit uh, of alteration will be fine you know um, inside again is a hella kits so hella kits are awesome I'll, I'll, I really like them because they're good value for money and they generally go well together but they are basic you know there's not a lot to them so if you open the box um, here well this is the top of the trailer comes in sections so it's not big one long part so that's the sort of size see if we can look at it right there. yeah that's the sort of size that um, 
length of the trailer that you're looking for up. and um, it's big and for an old room with the instructions here so this will be for the sachet or, or of the trailer there's a the fridge refrigeration unit and the size of the trailer and other bits and pieces again big chunky wheels no chrome this time which is good and the decal sheet but as I said I, I'm not using the decals for this um, this will go in storage but there we go so that's the the two kits that will be building in one well it's quite a big build well, let's just have a quick look at the instructions so, really nice detailed instructions here which you generally get from Hello Kits and if you do not have instruction here, there you go there's a couple of, looks like there's a couple of options here if I can get the page yeah So that's good if you if you want to do it just as the uh, what's on the box there's two variations you can do uh, it's a good thing in also um it's a bit hella they are they're paintless um generally correspond to humbrel paints as well so that's that that's going to take me a while to do um as i'm, I'm trying to think of a, a way to show you how I do my decals. Um, I'll probably put a, a camera pointing to my monitor and see if I can get a, a decent enough picture. I say I've already made them, but I, I can just go through how I make them anyway. You know, be a simple decal or something like that. So th this intro for the kit is a, a, a video on its own. I'm not tagging this onto the actual build like I normally do. Um, so that will be that for now I'll come up with an idea as I said for the decals or post that separately if I, I do figure one out um, keep an eye out for this build it will be the, the next uh, build I'm posting anyway after this uh, intro so thanks, thank you all for watching check out my other videos and keep your eyes peeled for this build but for now bye bye